Hello, welcome back to Cursed Brains, this following video is on how to dual boot, Ubuntu with Windows 10. For written guide and resources, links in the description. Thank you. Download Rufus, and Ubuntu ISO, from the links in the description. Rufus is a free and open source portable application for Windows, to create bootable USB flash drives. Ubuntu ISO will download, depending on your internet speed, I have pre-downloaded it. Make sure you have a USB plugged in, before creating your bootable drive, you need at least 8GB USB drive. Rufus will auto-select your USB drive, you need to select the ISO from your downloaded location. Now create the bootable drive, it will take a few minutes, for the bootable drive to get ready, I have fast forwarded these methods. In the meantime, make sure you have subscribed to my channel, and followed me on my social media, for upcoming videos, and if you feel genuinely this video, or, my other videos helped you in some way, I'm open for donations. Once the bootable drive is ready, open the disk management, to shrink and create a partition. You can shrink your partitions, from any of your empty drives. Make sure to shrink least 50 to 60 GB partition. I have shrunk 110 GB partition. Once the partitioning completes, close the disk management, and restart your system. Get into the boot menu, by pressing the desired button of your system. Usually, it is F12, or delete. Select the USB flash drive, to install Ubuntu. Now, let all processes complete, I wouldn't recommend interrupting these processes. As it completes, you will see the install dialog box for Ubuntu, select install Ubuntu, and select your preferred language. You can connect to the internet if you want, which will help you, to download additional updates while installing. For your information, download updates and install third-party apps, will consume extra data and time throughout the installation. In this process, we will choose something else, so, you can select the partition, where you want to install the Ubuntu. Now it's time to create, the sub-partitions for Ubuntu. Just to clarify, as we remember, we created 110GB of partition, but here on Ubuntu installation, it is showing 115 gigabytes of partition, not to be confused, Linux measure the drive size differently, so just make sure, there is a partition with similar size, to what you created on disk management. This is the root partition, for Linux core and system files, select the partition type as logical, and use a ZXD4 file system, minimum 15 gigabytes should be allocated, This is the swap area, which acts like extra RAM, when the RAM is full. The size of the swap area, should be double the size of your RAM. Just a side note, the swap area is usually created for a low RAM system, if you have sufficient RAM, as in 16 to 32 GB, then it is not necessary to create a swap area. The last partition is home, it is to save user data and should be minimum 30 GB size, and maximum as much as you want. Once all the sub-partitions created, select your location around the world. Enter all the user login data, make sure to remember them, so you can log in once the Ubuntu is installed. And finally, install the Ubuntu. Restart your system, and plug out the USB, as the installation completes. Select Ubuntu from the bootloader, and wait for it to boot. Input the correct password, which you added while installing. That's it, 
your Ubuntu is installed now. Just check around, if everything is working fine. And in the end, restart the system, to check the Windows is working properly. Thanks for watching, hope you found this video helpful, if you have any doubts or questions, you can comment them below, make sure to like the video, and subscribe my channel, also follow me on my social media. If you want to connect, or contact me, just head over to the below of the description.